Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to create Bitbucket consumer and how to fetch repository list of another Bitbucket account. Suppose tell me, uh, I'll tell you why I have created this video. So actually, I was developing something, and uh, in that uh, I needed this repository access thing. So that time I faced many issues, like uh, how to create the consumer or authorization or something so i thought uh, let's uh, create a video and make this easier for you guys so before uh, starting i assume that you know the big bucket and uh, how to use that so let's uh, start with the creating consumer so login into your big bucket account you will see the profile icon in left bottom corner Click on it and go to the big bucket setting. Then uh, click on OAuth. Here you will see Add Consumer button. Click on it. Uh, give the name of to your consumer. Let's say uh, test description. Okay. Get so this is the callback URL. Uh, this will use while uh, uh, this is basically like uh, redirect, redirecting the page after the authorization. So, we'll, uh, I'll put over here a valid callback. Let's say we'll uh, take a digit. So, you can give any URL. I'm just using the same URL. I don't want to show the further steps or anything else so this is the optional here is the permission or you can say scopes which you want from the another account like let's say account email read then pull request read no I don't want team membership issues nothing project yes I want read right let's say I don't want this repositories read and let's write web books and pipelines. So these things uh, you can find what actually it is on Bitbucket's account, Bitbucket site. Sorry, pipeline. Let's say read, save it. So here the consumer is created. If you expand this arrow, you will get the secret key and secret. So I'll just copy it and save in Notepad. So for now, we have created the consumer. Let's uh, get access of a repository list of another big bucket account. So first, I'll uh, uh, log out this account and we'll log in into the another account and we'll show you how to get the repository list. Uh, for the API references, you can go to the developer.bitbucket and you will find the API references which APIs are available for Bitbucket. So, Go to the link. I have browsed the video and then the repository that list. Go to repositories. Copy this. So before. Uh, 
getting repository list we have few uh, steps for it uh, like uh, first we need uh, user account name for the uh, repository list so for user account name you uh, this is the link you can use I'll uh, don't worry I'll put the link in description so you can uh, find it easily let's uh, copy this link we'll first in another then uh, uh, take this client ID or key we'll just over here and the response type token we want the token of uh, first we want the token of the that uh, bitbucket account so let's uh, hit this api so these are the all get methods so you don't need to uh, use in a rest uh, client or something you can use directly in a browser let's hit this so it will ask for the login i guess yeah so login with the google And here uh, you will uh, like uh, you have to log in on that account where from which account you want the repository list. So I want in this. So it will ask for the confirmation access to your account. And uh, here's the description what access you want, which we have uh, selected scopes or permission you can say to so grant access. So that link has no power here. Why? Why? Because I have uh, uh, created the callback URL. This, so the bit book, uh, the callback URL doesn't found found the callback page or something. So that's why it gives the error. You can uh, use your URL or local URL. Anything. We just need the access token. So we'll uh, copy this thing. So this is my access token which I got from So let's copy this okay first then after that we need a username of that account this is for access token this So the access token, copy this, press this, let's copy this link, then I can paste, like this, yeah, so here we got the username of that account from this account, uh, for this account we want the repository of this. So let's copy this username and let's save it. Now we can hit the repository API. the username just over here and access token and copy it
here we go so let's copy this and I'm going to change this anyway yeah so this is the page size uh, I have two repositories in that account I'll show you I'm sorry. This bucket. Login. Yeah, you can see the two repositories I have. Test one, test repo one, test repo two. And here is the test repo one and test repo two. Yeah, great. So like uh, we got the repository access uh, after getting this you can uh, fetch another things like branch access commits or many things so that will be as for your need. Uh, make sure uh, this token is valid for only one hour so your process will done under the one hour so that will be better for you guys. So we yeah, we're done for the video. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching the video.